If you are new to my channel and you just clicked on this video, my name is Mike. And on May 6th of this year, I began the carnivore lifestyle. I started at a beginning weight of 296 pounds. And this morning, weigh in at 238 pounds. Less than four months. It will be four months on September 6th. And the number one thing I hear people say is I can't afford to do the carnivore lifestyle. I just can't afford meat. So I want to show you what I'm spending, what I'm eating. I want to physically, I got a cooler right next to me. I want to show you just a couple things and explain to you why it isn't more expensive. And the number one thing you should be thinking about in your mind is <laughs> at what cost is, is what is my life worth? Well, your life should be the most valuable thing you have and you need to find a way to afford carnivore because I'm going to tell you, I pay less in groceries a month now than I ever did. I guarantee you that. And I'm going to explain to you why. So let's get on with it. Let's start with the meat. I'm just going to. I go to Aldi. Okay. Most people have an Aldi within an hour's drive. If you do not, then you probably have a Sam's Club or a Walmart. Any of those will do. Now, here's an example. This is two, almost two and a half pounds of meat. I'm sure it's a little frosty. And this is a pork shoulder steak. Okay. Not the most ideal meat, but there is fat on there. And if you see the fat, that is what you need on the carnivore lifestyle. Now, you can't eat hamburger meat every single day. You would, you would grow weary of that very fast. So I mix it up. I'll get chicken. I'll get pork. This cost me a whopping eight fifty eight, and there's easily two meals in there, easily. And that's all I'm going to eat. Now, it is, well, it is not all I'm going to eat. I would probably fry up two or three eggs with two pieces of this. I think there's about four pieces in there. Two pieces of these pork chop steaks, and then I'll fry up two, two, three, four eggs with them. Now, I've learned uh, that the more I eat eggs, the more I love them. I fry them. Most of the time, I just fry them or make an omelet. But these, I think, yeah, there's three of them in there. Okay. So you could have this for breakfast, dinner, whatever. Now that's one. Now at Aldi, they also have these. These are approximately six-ounce steaks, ribeyes. And for this two-pack, $10.55. I got three of these. So I got six half-ounce ribeye steaks for little over $30. Okay, you're not going to find a T-bone steak on today's grocery store shelf for under $30. Now, what I'll do when I make these is I'll make one steak and then I will either have a hamburger patty with that or whatever maybe I had a leftover pork chop from the day before, something like that. One of these in itself is not going to fill me up. But if I make, maybe it make some eggs with it, that will. Let's talk about butter. You need butter. I don't care what your doctor says and butter and salt. Don't need that. You don't need to listen to that. Get, this is what I get from Aldi. Okay. You can get the salted, you can get the unsalted. But the key to this is, I mean, this has a lot of fat. You want that because your body will now be burning fat. Let me get that to focus. But look at the ingredients. This contains pasteurized cream and salt. And that's all you need in it. Now, I have another example that I got at my local grocery store. Looks pretty much the same, right? But if you read the ingredients... It says pasteurized cream, natural 
flavorings. That is where they hide all the bad stuff is in the term natural flavorings. Well, what is natural flavoring flavorings and why doesn't this have it? This is real butter. This is it's real butter, but you don't know what else they've added into it. So do not buy this kind. Read your labels. Make sure it does not say natural flavoring. Bacon. Bacon's very important. You don't have to eat a ton of it. I eat maybe three days a week, four days a week in the morning. And I get this kind of bacon from all these. I'll get about two packs of these. That'll last me a week. Wish I had my glasses up here. Here's a pair. I had to bust into my glasses box and get these ugly Sally uh, Jesse Raphael glasses out. Okay. This is the bacon I get. No carbs, of course, but it doesn't have any sugars. And you want to make sure that it's not maple uh, syrup, bacon, any of that. This has been, it's very tasty bacon. It's called Appleton. And this same brand does have the, the maple sugar kind. So you don't want that sugar cured bacon. You want this, this regular bacon. And that's it for the meat. Now, I'm not going to show you the ground meat. It's in there. I buy just a pack like this and everything they have is vacuum sealed. So it's, you know, pretty good. It's all good meat. Put this back in the cooler, guys. I get two and a half pounds of ground meat and you can buy them in the big 10, 50, 10 pound tubes if you want the 73% lean. But I just get two, two, it's about 2.39 pounds. And that will allow me to make almost uh, uh, four big half pound patties. I'll fry, I'll, I'll fry those up on the grill out there. Uh, I can eat just one of them with one of them steaks, be completely full. And then I'll have, you know, I, I've even had hamburger patties with little, little cheddar cheese melted on top in the morning with eggs. That is great. And you got three meals, three or four meals out of those hamburger patties as an, you know, you just can't eat one item on your plate. You could it's kind of boring just to eat a steak and that's it or eat two steaks. They exactly the same. So I like to mix it up with the hamburger patty and a steak. I even have ketchup and barbecue sauces that are, they're called G I don't have it. Uh, very like one gram of carbs, no sugar. Though the ketchup is the best I've ever tasted. I wish I would have picked that up when I came over here. So there are alternatives, and actually the barbecue sauce is the best I've ever ate, sugar-free, uh, one carb. So I, I got to have sauces on some of my stuff, so I don't mind the one carb. It has not affected my weight loss. I've lost 58 pounds to date as I got on the scale this morning, 58 pounds. When I go to Aldi, okay, here's how you're saving the money. You're only going to the meat section, to the eggs, and to the, where the butter and cheese are. That's it. You're not buying all that nonsense that's in between that 95% of is bad. You're bypassing that. You want to make spaghetti and meatballs. Well, you got to buy the noodles. You got to buy the spaghetti noodles. You got to buy the sauces. Could be diced tomatoes, tomato paste, all these things. The meat that goes into it. Uh, whatever you put in spaghetti, you got to include the spices, all that stuff. By the time you're out of that grocery store with enough food, with enough ingredients to make that meal, you've already spent 40, 50, 60 bucks. Now, I was doing that two to three times a week. So almost, you know, 150 to $200 every week just for the meals I was eating. Uh, go try to make lasagna. See what that costs you. And I was gaining weight while I was eating those meals. Now my bill yesterday at Aldi was $110. 15 of that is <laughs> these snacks. You can get these. No carbs, no sugar, 
Yep. Now, there might be questionable things, and actually, the ingredients are not that bad. Uh, it's just whatever. It's got caraway seed, but the rest of it's pretty, you know, beef and pork, pork broth, salt, uh, cultured celery powder. It's got some things in there you're not supposed to have on carnivore, but you know what? It's an alternative snack. I've been eating these ever since I started. I still lost 58 pounds. The problem is this bag was up to here when I left all these parking lot. It's the first thing I rip open. And about two towns later, it was down to here. Yeah. So I pretty much eat them all by the next day. These will be gone. This is the second bag, by the way. Also, don't have a full bag to show you. Pork rinds. Pork rinds. Very, very cheap. I think this bag is $1.25 at Aldi. This may not be the one. No, this is from my local grocery store. They're still cheap. They're $1.99. And the ingredients, fried pork skins, salt, natural smoke flavor. See, we don't know what the natural smoke. I didn't have any. I usually get them in all these. It doesn't have that. It just pork skins and salt. So, you know, a little bit. Hey, ain't going to kill you. And. You need to take electrolytes. I got this stuff called Keto Chow. I got it on Amazon. This is a pretty good sized bottle. Uh, I think it was 30 something dollars. It should last quite a while. They have smaller bottles. This is actually the refill bottle. I said, well, I'm not, I don't want to buy it every week. So I have been using this about two weeks and it's up to here. So you do need electrolytes. This has no sugar, nothing additive. It's just electrolytes. Don't be fooled by the electrolytes that you can buy. It says electrolytes, but it's full of sugar. It's sweet. This is not sweet. It's salty. I put it in my iced tea. I guarantee you, you did not get overweight by being cheap on the groceries. Now, people on limited and hardly any income do tend to eat those foods because they are cheap. They are terrible for you. Most of them are chemicals. I was one of them guys just months ago. I've got videos where I'm taking frozen pizzas, probably one of the worst things you can eat, and I'm putting more crap on them. Uh, I left my cooking videos up. You can see some of the stuff I cooked, and I was not shy on portions. I would pile up my plate. Now, I only usually ate once a day, and it was a huge meal. But it was all the wrong things. I, I was putting pounds on after pounds. Just, you know, four months later, I feel incredible. I feel like I'm, I feel better than when I was 20. I actually do because I was partying and all that when I was 20. And I not always felt like crap. Now I don't drink. Now that's another important thing. You need to give up the alcohol at least until you're done with the elimination part of the carnivore lifestyle. Because all that will do, especially beer, will counteract everything that you have done. And you might as well not even do it. So if you're not dedicated in your mind that you want to be healthy again and you want to lose weight, it is never going to work for you. You can try it for 30 days and then say well okay well i didn't like that at some point in your life you're going to have enough when you're popping enough pills in your mouth that the doctor has prescribed just to mask an issue you have doesn't cure it they don't want to cure you of it they're masking it they're trained to mask things they are run by the pharmaceutical companies they are run by the insurance companies they don't want to cure you there are plenty of videos out there that doctors come clean and tell you this. I've been watching them. I am just doing it for me. I can tell you, and I am documenting it on my channels. Okay. We'll talk about it here, but I'm showing you the results on my other channel, not necessarily in every video, but I'm showing you. If you can't see that I'm losing weight, then you need a better TV because I can see it. I couldn't see it in the beginning, but I do now. 
I even ran two laps around my backyard the other day. I haven't done that. I did try that when I was doing the walking a couple years ago, and it about killed me because I hadn't really lost anything. I was just building my cardio up, but I hadn't lost much weight. I think I lost 35 pounds that whole time I was doing the walking. I barely done any exercise with this, and I've lost 58 pounds, and I'm still going. I got about another 30, 35 to go. I got to find out what my ideal weight is, but I will get there. I have to. I'm in public, but I'm not. If I even quit doing YouTube today, I would still finish this and do this, and who knows how long it's going to go. So I will just relay my results, but there is nothing to it. Nothing, nothing to it. People are putting this off for no reason because it's, it's easy. You're still eating good. You're just limited to meats. And there's other things I haven't discussed that you can, you know, livers, any kind of livers or organ, animal organs are the best to eat. I, I'm not there yet. I can't stand livers of any kind. I think I'm, I'm doing just fine on what I'm getting. So I don't need that, but they are very good for you. There are certain vitamins, supplements you should take. If you're not eating some of those things. Now, fish is highly recommended to get your omega threes. I'm burnt out on fish right now. I'm going to be going to some shrimp. I can handle shrimp. I could eat shrimp every day, but as far as salmon, trout, tilapia, whatever, all the, what I was buying, I can't stomach any more of it. I've never been a seafood fan, but I can, you can do shrimp, any kind of seafood, tuna fish. I, will, I can eat a tuna fish right out of the can. And those things will give you that, and there are supplements you can take. But the key is to try to get your diet to where you don't have to take all them supplements. Uh, it's bad enough having to take all the pills that you used to take or you currently are taking, but to add a whole bunch more, when you could fix that by eating and ingesting food, you know, but it is a safe lifestyle. Uh, it's up to you. It's up to you. Sometimes you just got to say the hell with what the doctor said and try something and it may surprise you. All right. Well, that's just a brief explanation of yes, you can, you can, you cannot afford not to change your life you don't have to do carnivore but you got to quit buying cakes you got to quit buying anything with sugar in it our bodies are not naturally uh built they're not built to have sugar intake our bodies produce sugar and when you're adding to it you're confusing and stressing your organs and that's taking years off your life now, I have lived a lifestyle over the last, most of my life that, you know, I'm sure I took many years off my life, but hopefully I can reverse that a little bit, live a little bit longer, because I guarantee you I'm feeling a lot better, but we will see, but I don't want to be 110, man. You're all wrinkled and you hardly can, people can't understand you. I don't know. You're, you're in that wheelchair with the Afghan over you. I don't want to be that guy. Okay. I want to be driving at 107 and they're going to have to wrestle me to get my license out of my wallet. They ain't taking it. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.